Dinky Doors. <laughs> yes, you're right. Fulfilling the wishes of the mysterious Supreme Leader to discover and open diminutive doors to delightful and wondrous worlds isn't easy. We always knew that accepting such an unexpected and important mission to save the world would be tricky, but, well, we like a challenge and we're not afraid of a bit of hard work. Yeah, the countless hours spent exploring, designing, constructing and unleashing these portals into the world for the Supreme Leader is, quite frankly, uh, an honour. What's tricky is that our work is covert. Secret. Under the table and below the radar. It's as stealthy as a ninja who's hidden inside another ninja's clothes whilst they're being warm without the clothes wearing ninja detecting anything about this ninja that our work is as stealthy as. If you see what I mean. <clears throat> so anyway, we can't exactly just walk around acting and looking normal. No. We need these guises. Yes, and, and that's exactly what we're going to show you how to make today. So uh, if we just take this picture of us, uh, <laughs> I mean some people who definitely aren't us, uh, in fact, let's just hide up. I, I mean their identities. <laughs> I can't be too careful. <laughs> yes, uh, this question is really a priority. Um, we need a helmet that's both subtle and extraordinarily practical. Yeah, yeah, we want something that obscures our faces, definitely. Uh, some kind of box? At a jaunty angle to make it stylish? Perfect. And, and, and if someone does happen to accidentally see us, maybe it could be an opportunity to advertise our unexpected mission to save the world. Yes. Better put the name on it. Oh, oh yeah. Good idea. Splendid. Yeah. Right, yo. Discreet. Hmm. Better make sure it's big enough so people can notice how discreet it is. I started by printing out the Dinky Jaws logo onto two sheets of A3 paper. That should be big and discreet enough. Once lined up carefully, I taped it together. I like using box cutter knives when I make stuff. I don't bother snapping off the blades, they can be made super sharp again with a knife sharpener. This style, whilst a bit scary looking because the blade faces up, is really easy to use and very very effective. Oh. I use my steel edge ruler and some quite dazzlingly effective knife skills to extract the logo from the paper. These helmets need to be robust, so we're using EVA foam, which you can buy cheaply as interlocking floor mats. One side is textured, which isn't ideal, but we'll put that on the inside to help keep our skin exfoliated. I weigh down and trace around the piece of paper, and then cut it using the box knife again. This is where it's really important to have a sharp knife. Keep the blade upright and push quite firmly. And with the final bit of cutting, our logo is finally free! Free to live an exciting new life! Uh, actually, probably not that exciting, but don't tell it, don't tell it. This helmet is going to need a back, so let's flip over the logo and cut it out as well. There we go, lovely and textured. Now we've got a front and a back. How <laughs> exciting, yes. Yes, a front and back. Just separated there by, well, actually nothing. There's nothing between them. Right, now that we've got the main shape of the, the helmet, we should probably turn our attention to the letters. So let's cut them all out very carefully, very sharp knife, constantly sharpening, yes. <laughs> uh, and here, like the letters, we want to make them on some white EVA foam, very hard to see. So let's just try and trace them out and, and get ready to cut them very carefully again. Lots of detail work here, very fiddly. Takes quite a while though. Oh, very exciting. Yep, still chop him. Still chop him. Oh, I thought that wasn't going to end. Better tidy up the edges with some sandpaper. Now I'm going to glue these letters on, so I'm going to need to make sure I know exactly where to place the glue. So I'm going to trace around the inside edges of these letters. Let's just do a test layout. Looking good. We like to use contact adhesive to stick EVA foam to itself. Now it comes in these tins which uh, can be a bit tricky to open and actually they dry out really badly and you know you waste quite a lot so if you put it in these little plastic bottles it's easier to apply and just a lot neater much much better than working with a tin and it's pretty potent stuff so if you like to have a cup of tea you might want to have a bit of a drink now because you'll be wearing a mask when you're when you're using the contact adhesive and you've got to get your tea down got to get your tea down it's always got to like oh God. Mm. Oh, oh, oh. 
Now we can put on a mask. Yeah. You need to put glue on both surfaces that you want to stick together. So here I'm applying it to the letter and then smoothing it out with a scrap piece of foam. Using the same technique, I apply the glue to the red foam as well. And you can see why it's important to mark out the insides of the letters. It means I can place the glue accurately. There we go. Just final detail. Now I can stick all of the letters on. Yeah, give them a good squish. It's always important to keep things pressed down. There we go. I made two. Now these helmets are going to need sides, so better make some. Uh, cut some more foam out and there we go. We got some sides, which as you can see are going to be sides. So if we just place it here and then bring this other one up. And why is it not working? It's not working. It's not working. It keep falling apart. Oh, I'm going to need to use some glue. Oh, just thought I could balance it. Yeah. No. Okay, so here we go. We've applied some more glue to all the edges. We waited for it to dry until it was nice and tacky. And then we squish it all together again. And it's brilliant. It just means it's, you know, you stick it together and it sticks. And there we go. Look at that. It's kind of a, kind of worked. We've got a logo, a logo on the front side of a four-sided thing. It's, oh no, look, there's a hole in the top. Oh dear, did I make a top? No, uh, let's make a top. Let's just measure out exactly how big it's gonna be. Let's give it a bit of a cut, do some more gluing, squeeze it in place when it's dry, nice and sticky. Look at that, it's got a top, but there's no head. There's no head to go inside. Well, that's because there's no way to attach that head into the helmet. What we're going to need is a crown, which I've made out of the edges of the floor mat in this kind of funky design here, which I need to obviously carefully size for my noggin. Stick it all together, make sure it all works. Look at that. Looks great. Right, time to do some maths. I know how tall the helmet is. I know where the, the crown appears on my head and... Do a number divided by seven square root of zero, and then a bit more times uh, ten. Ten centimeters. That's how much of a space I need above my crown. So I made this this Mohican type thing, which will stick to the top of the helmet and gives a ten centimeter clearance at the top. <laughs> so put some glue down the center line of the of the helmet and stick it in place. Perfect. Looks a bit wobbly. Okay, use some hot glue. Much easier than contact adhesive at this point. Stick it in place. Lovely. And a few more side bracy bits to make sure that I can rattle my head around and the whole thing doesn't move too much. And there we go. A finished helmet. Now just need to try it out and make sure that it actually disguises us so we can carry out our secret and important work for the Supreme Leader. This is great. We can finally go about our lives without ever having to worry about our identities being discovered, imperiling our unexpected mission to save the world. Mm, do you think we need more than just helmets? What, like, like a wig? Um, I was thinking that I quite like a cape, actually. Oh, 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 maybe we can get one of those flying cars. I guess I'll be for another video. If you've enjoyed this, please do the like and subscribe thing. It really helps us spread the word. And if you're the kind of lovely person who might like to help us on our unexpected mission to save the world, you can find out more on our Patreon page. It's all very exciting. There's a link just below this video. Thanks for everything. You're, you're lovely. Ooh, ooh, uh, ooh. Uh, uh, hello, hello, hello. Please, um, please, um, please um, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hey, hey, hey. Bye, bye, bye.